So I want to start this off by saying I apologize sincerely for there is a section in this video that is is filmed um, straight up and down so the it'll show up sideways on your phone or on the computer however you watch this um, you'll you'll see but I just want you to know that I'm sorry I didn't you know I didn't mean to I actually thought it was the right way but it appears I recorded it wrong but anyway I hope you enjoy the video okay so for the third installation in this little series um, what I've got to do is I've got to get the wiring harness out of this car um, right there and it actually passes through this grommet right here and I gotta get all this wiring here there's a uh, zip tie right there probably cut that um, as far as I know that's the only other thing holding all this inside of here um, and I'm not sure if it's gonna be easier to pass it through to the outside or if it's gonna be easier to push it inside um, it would appear I may actually have to take the dash out of this car or at least the glove box to get to the computer and all so as you can see I guess it's hiding back there um, but we will mess around with it a little bit and uh, see what we've got to do and see what we can come up with and go from there so <clears throat> I went to mess under the glove box and uh, had that little guy try to attack me well come to find out that's fun and that could be really really bad I guess we'll have to deal with that before we can get any more out of this thing. So, messing around in here a little more, find that thing too. This is just getting scarier and scarier. <laughs> I found out that that hornet's nest is empty still, which is good. But that snake skin. I mean, obviously it's empty, but I don't want to find its inhabitants in here. <laughs> Ugh. Scary, scary. And yeah, I just cut the dash. It was a $200 car. I, I'm not worried about that. But, so I need to get that out and all that. But like I said, I just found, found that snake skin. And it's not a very big one, but big enough to make me want to look a little closer while I'm in here grabbing stuff but yeah so I went ahead and came back inside it's raining again for the 75th straight day now that's not an accurate description or depiction of what's been going on but it feels like it um, I did go ahead and get the rest of the dash out of the car. I didn't really film it because, like I said, it's raining and just nasty. But uh, I found more of that snake skin, and he he's a little bigger than than I thought to begin with, because um, it actually stretched over like where the center console kind of would be, like the very center of the car, and went over and then back down to the floor again. It's like holy crap! I uh, Still doesn't mean that it was a huge snake, but I don't want to grab a snake while I'm working on a $200 car. It's just not not in my in my plans for today. Um, so I guess I I'll put the pictures of kind of like what's going on as far as where it's at now. Um, and there's some pictures of like the snake skin and the, the hornet's nest and all that stuff. Um, got kind of lucky, I guess. I mean, I know it's it sounds ridiculous, but anything can happen. Um, I'm thankful that there the snake wasn't actually in the skin and that the hornet's nest didn't have more than just that one that was trying to work on the nest. Um, 
it's just a whole bucket full of bad, the whole thing. But uh, hopefully this motor will be worth it and it will run and drive and push the little samurai a little better and hopefully Jake will be happy with it. If not, he can kiss it because I just, <laughs> I'm doing all the work. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm not the best in the world, you know, I've never claimed to be, but I, if there's any way that I can help anybody else doing a similar thing, then I'll, I'll do the best I can to try to help you. Um, anyway, y'all have a great day. We'll see you later.